Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are going to show you how to create custom ringtones for your iPhone using music that you already have in your iTunes library. Uh, we had done a video like this a few years back and it got a pretty good reception, but as typically happens with software, iTunes went through a number of updates and so that old tutorial video became outdated. So I figured it was time to, to uh, make a new video with the updated version of iTunes. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is open up the control panel. Once we have the control panel open, we're going to go ahead and go to File Explorer Options and go to the View tab. We're going to go ahead and scroll down until you see Hide Extensions for Known File Types. And in that box, there should be no check mark. So make sure that's unselected and go ahead and click OK and you can close the control panel. Let's go ahead and open iTunes. When iTunes opens, we're going to go up to the Edit tab and come down and select Preferences. Under the General tab, you'll see a button that says Import Settings. Go ahead and click that. And we want to, do, to select Import using the AAC encoder. Go ahead and select OK, OK. And then the next thing we need to do is find what song we want to use as our ringtone. In this demonstration, we're going to use an Adele song. So we'll go ahead, find the song that you're going to use, and then right click and select Get Info. We're going to go ahead and select Options. And then here under the Options tab, you'll see that there's an option for a start and stop time. For a ringtone, we don't want the full song to play, 3 minutes and 43 seconds. We want to create a 30 second clip of the song. Uh, for this song, we want to select the chorus, which happens to start at 48 seconds. Um, you're going to have to listen to your song and decide when you want the ringtone to start, and you'll enter that time there. For the stop time, you want to put in 30 seconds after your start time. So if you start at zero, at the beginning of the song, you want to stop at 30 seconds. In this case, where we're doing 48 seconds, we want it to stop at 1 minute and 18 seconds. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And now, when we go to play, this, when we go to play the song, you'll notice that it starts at 48 seconds and that it ends 30 seconds later. And so it's a shortened version of that song, which is what we want. So now that we've got the song selected and highlighted here, we're going to go ahead and come to File, Convert, and then click Create AAC Version. And you'll see that there are now two versions of the song. Uh, one that is 3 minutes and 43 seconds long, and one that is 30 seconds long. So we are going to go ahead and right click the 30 second version and click show in Windows Explorer and it will take us to where the file is located and here in this file is showing us again the original version of the song and the 30 second version. So what we're going to want to do is find the one that's 30 seconds long and the easiest way to do that is hover your mouse over and we'll see that the length on this one is 29 seconds. The length on this one is 3 minutes and 43 seconds. So this top song is the one we want in this case. Let's go ahead, we'll right click it and come down to rename and we're gonna go ahead and change the name of this. Um, you can leave the name of the file the same if you'd like. I'm just shortening it for convenience sake. Uh, the important thing that we're going to do here is you can see that it's currently an M4A file. We want to change that to an M4R file. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to warn us that if we rename the file extension that the file may become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? We'll select yes. And then the easiest thing that we can do is grab that file and we'll drag it to the desktop. That will make it easier to find as we add the ringtone back into our iTunes library. So let's go ahead 
um, and go back into iTunes. We'll cl click File, Add File to Library. We'll go to Desktop, and we can see the file, the ringtone file that we've just added. We're going to go ahead and select Open. And you'll see that it didn't add a new song to the music section, but if we go up here and select Tones, that there is now a tone in that section. If we click play, you can see that it plays at the chorus, which is what we wanted for the ringtone. So now we've got the ringtone file here in our computer. Um, the trick is going to be getting it to our iPhone. So what we're going to go ahead and do next is um, connect our iPhone to the computer uh, using a USB cable. It's going to ask us uh, to sync some photos and things. We can go ahead and click close on that right now. That's not what we're concerned with. Um, and then you'll see that an iPhone logo pops up right here. So what we're going to do is click on the iPhone and you may see that these arrows here are spinning. That just means that the device is syncing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and come down here to Tones. And we can see that in this case, it's automatically syncing the tones. Um, if you check that box, it will sync the tones to from iTunes onto your iPhone. You can select all tones or just selected ones. In this case, we're going to do just the one that we recently created. And then we're going to click Done and Apply. And if we go back into the iPhone, you can see that it's syncing the device right now. Across the top, it's giving us um, kind of a status update of what's being synced. So this can take just a second as the files from iTunes sync up with your phone, um, but your, your ringtone will now cover or convert over to the phone itself. Um, the arrows have stopped and if we go down here to on my device tones we can see that our ringtone is now on our iPhone. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the iPhone to apply this ringtone so that it plays if people call us. But before we do that we're gonna go back and clean up our our library really quick. Um, so we're going to click Tones and select Music. We're going to go back to the file here. Um, we're going to find the 30 second version of the song that we created and click Delete from Library. Delete that song. And then the original song, we're going to right click, go back to Get Info, Options, and then we will deselect the start and stop times. And that way, if this song plays on our iPhone or on our iPod later on, it will play the full song and not just the snippet that we've created. Uh, if we go back into tones, we can see that the ringtone is still there, um, but now the song is undamaged uh, and the full song is back in our music library. So now that we've got the iTunes cleaned up, let's go ahead and go to our iPhone and we will apply this ringtone all right, so now we have the ringtone on our iPhone. We just need to apply it so that it will play as people call us. To do that, we're going to go into Settings and go into Sounds and Haptics. And you can see here that there's a list of tones, a ringtone or a text tone, news voicemail, whatever. In this case, we're going to select Ringtone, and we will change it to the ringtone that we've created and added to our iPhone. And now when people call us, that will be our ringtone. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to post that in the comments. I'm happy to help any way I can. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.